And thus, The Clone Wars commences with Chapter 5, Gunship Cavalry. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Chapter 5, Gunship Cavalry. The Grand Army of the Republic has been called into action. Led by Mace Windu and Yoda, the new clone forces clash with the Separatist droid armies on the planet Geonosis. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker engage with the enemy as they pursue Count Dooku in their Republic attack gunship. And as you can see, this is going to be a vehicle level! Yay! We love piloting vehicles! Although some players of this game hate it because they hate levels like this, and yeah, I can understand where that opinion comes from. Some of them do control uh, a little awkwardly. But uh, for starters, I'm going to destroy everything here so I can collect the studs. And as with any vehicle level, keep on the lookout for mini kit pieces. In fact, I think I might have uh, missed one at the uh, beginning of the level. So I'm just going to go back and... Uh, ah! I knew my intuition was on the mark. These lasers, they are annoying. Because the longer they come into contact with you, the more hearts you lose, as you can plainly see. Thank God for a brief invincibility frame. All right, back on track. The Republic gunship is the first vehicle to have a tow cable. With the tow cable, you can grab these bombs and you can drag them around to uh, destroy obstacles. Not that two-wheeled, hoop-shaped droid thingamabob. And not those spider things either. But you can destroy those guys because sometimes they will uh, drop hearts. And that's pretty much your only way of... Uh, getting hearts in this chapter. Really what you want to do is you want to destroy these barrier generators. And as you probably guessed, they can uh, distribute studs. I've always found that going back in this level is a pain in the butt because you're always worried that you'll get uh, hit by a laser, which is why I'm being super, super cautious right now because it's all too easy to die in this specific chapter. And unfortunately, the true Jedi status is a little on the high side as far as uh, vehicle levels are concerned. Well, let's destroy both of these things and get our well-deserved cash. Make sure you take out the enemies too, particularly those spider droids because you don't want them flying at you while you are uh, carrying the bomb. And this particular section can be rather frustrating because you have to deal with multiple lasers. Usually I find it best to wait until the lasers appear and then once they disappear, then make your move. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's deal with this wall first. Money and a mini kit piece. Very nice. All right, now I need to be super, super careful to try and avoid getting uh, destroyed by those lasers. Yeah, I know this isn't the most... Well, I screwed that up royally. Let's go ahead and see if we can take out at least uh, one of the barrier generators by being super cautious. Although, let's face it, I have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, and then move. Ooh, grab the heart, grab the heart. Ah, ah, I'm almost at full health. Although that probably won't last. One down and one to go. There are only two sections of this level, and this one is easily the more uh, annoying of the two. I should also mention that this level is uh, profoundly different in the uh, original game. 
More so the second section than the first. Now I think the power brick is somewhere around here. I know it's very cleverly hidden, as most of them are, but I honestly have no idea where it could be at... You know, I have no idea what's going on right now, but apparently the Star Wars gods are much kinder than I thought. Or maybe I'm not as senile as I once thought. I'm not sure, but I'm still pleased with the results. All right, speaking of results, that uh, barrier generator needs to go now. Any minute, there we go. And release. Uh, you'll want, also want to try avoid uh, dropping the bomb into the uh, bottomless pit, because if that happens, you'll obviously have to get another one. And that can be irritating. But that doesn't matter, because we are at the final section of the level. Now, the first thing we need to do is uh, find out where the bombs are stored. And I think they're stored somewhere down here. Also, you'll want to take care of the enemies and avoid the lasers like usual. Ah, there it is. Excuse me, I am trying to blow up these lasers. Can I please do that without your interference? Die. I meant you die, not me die. Oh dear, can I get them? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank you very much. I am, um... All of a sudden, I think my 100% uh, of true Jedi status is uh, going to be compromised now. But anyway, you'll need to destroy those laser generators by using the bombs. And fortunately, they net you quite a few studs, so this is where you're going to get the majority of your cash. And that didn't work out as well as I had hoped. There we go. Now, once that is... Uh, taken care of. Destroy the generators. Ooh, power up, power up, power up. Oh, yes. Yes, that feels good. Destroy. Destroy. Destroy! Not the Jedi way it is, but the Lego Star Wars way it is. And there's another mini kit piece. Thank you very much. Uh, as I mentioned before, this part of the level is a lot different in the original game. It functions much as a side-scroller. And uh, believe it or not, you had a time limit to destroy everything. And it got super, super annoying because the enemies would always stand in your way. So I'm so glad that they uh, changed it for the complete saga. Let's go ahead and take out that laser generator. And we should be coming close to true Jedi status. Can this push us over the edge? There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Be sure to uh, take advantage of those power-up orbs. Because then you won't have to worry about uh, getting hit by lasers. Or enemies, for that matter. There we go! Come on! Oh, wow! I didn't even see that mini-kit piece there. Now let's destroy the third set. And collect a power-up, which makes me feel so good. <laughs> All right. One set left. This is honestly a very short uh, chapter. Not nearly as short as the last one, but still one of the uh, smaller chapters in the game. And I'm okay with that. In fact, episode two feels like the shortest. I think that's it. Yes, indeed it is. But Count Dooku is making his escape, so we'll have to chase after him. In the next video, though, for now, we have unlocked exploding blaster bolts. That's going to be handy. A Republic gunship, a new vehicle. And another 100% true Jedi status under our belt. And honestly, one of the tougher ones, I think. And we've almost hit the 600,000 uh, stud mark, which is good. 
and we got quite a few mini kit pieces but then again you often get lots of them in the vehicle levels only one left to collect and fortunately i know just where it is but uh that's for another time for now two more gold bricks to add to our collection i think now is a good time to stop so next time on let's play lego star wars the complete saga we are going to finish off uh, Attack of the Clones with a duel against Count Dooku. So, see you guys next time.